In some ways, it seems like he's the more level-headed of, of them in the decision-making because it all comes down to, like, the money. Like, right. They, they're going to sell the house for money. Right. And so that kind of, like, I think they all want to be together because they've been so far apart. Right. And then they get together um, to, to build this house, and that's kind of the, the, yeah. the reasoning they put on it, not really... They don't want to say, oh, because we want to be together and get caught up. It's like, right. oh, we're going to sell this house for money. But you have to. I don't have to do anything, and neither do you. Don't let Curly here bully you into anything. I have not bullied him! Are you sure about that? No one's being hard-headed other than you. How many times have I said no? Curly cuts him off and continues. He tightens his grip on the beer bottle. Who'd imagine you'd turn this down? There's nothing here, nothing. And someone actually wants to buy it. Well, I've got my own plan, so deal with it. Bill looks up at him from his seat. Can you guys sit, please? So, what's your idea of thinking big? Besides shoveling junk food down your snout and watching TV? Guys, please! I've got plenty! And you're a lousy book, maybe! <sighs> I should've known you went out like this. Bill, you never had a shred of nerve. Give me the check. I'll take it back to them tomorrow and let them know the deal's off. This is bullshit! We won't get another shot like this! Let it go, Curly!